Hello, we've done a couple of demonstrations of this application, but I wanted to show you how it runs on a, an Android tablet and on a smartphone as well. So this is a responsive application. It will run across devices. It's, a, it's running in a browser here, um, and it's, it's the functionality of this application is it provides offline editing, which is something that lots of people have been asking for. Um, above and beyond what Collector does, this application is very flexible, so you can we can add functionality to it. We can we can brand it as needed, we can extend it as needed. So it's complementary to Collector, runs in a browser, um, and provides us the off offline capabilities that lots of people are, are, need, are now requiring. So we've got a base map here, we've got an overlay of a feature service, which on the right hand side you can see the editable pieces of that feature service. This feature service is actually coming from ArcGIS Server. Let's just tap the tools option at the top. Now what we're going to do is go offline first. So we're going to tap on the offline. You'll see that the top button turns red. Let's just zoom out and just to prove the point that we're offline. We've lost the base map tiles. Let's now go ahead and add a base map tile to this one. So we've generated in ArcMap a tile package. We've dropped it on the device and we're now going to just simply load it. There it is. It came in very quickly. No waits for download since it's local to the device. Let's just zoom in a little bit. Okay, we'll add an edit here. So I'm just going to add a point. We're going to tap on the point. We're going to tap on the map. There's our attributes window. We're just going to edit the drop from the drop down. There's a whole load of other attributes there. This also supports attachments. It's not shown in this window, but attachments are supported. So we could take a picture and attach that to this, any number of pictures to this particular uh, feature that we're adding. So let's close that. We're going to go back online. Once we've reconnected, what ha automatically happens is that feature that we just added is pushed up to that feature service. So we've now updated that feature service and we're good to go. So that's the application running uh, on an Android tablet. What I wanted to do next was just to show the application running on a, on a smartphone. So this is exactly the same application. And if I can just get it in the right position for you to see. There's the same application. You can see it's styled slightly differently since it's done in a responsive way, which means that you can build applications now in the web, which will look good on all devices. So let's just go repeat what we just did there. I'll try not to use my thumb too much here. So there's our tools option. Let's go offline. And you'll notice behind, actually look, before we do offline, I'm gonna just, uh, let me just add that same base map as well. So let's just close this up. I'm going to zoom out a little bit just to show that we've got no tiles there. Again, let's pull up the tools option. Let's get a base map. Now we've already preloaded a base map here. We actually got it from Dropbox. Now it's going to take a, a minute for this to come in, so um, we can let's just close there. That should that'll take a minute for for it to actually load. There it is. I won't zoom in just for time. Let's just zoom down. Let's just scroll down the side here and find a point feature. There's another point feature. We'll tap the map. It's a little bit more difficult to work with on a phone, obviously. But just to prove the point, whoops, we will select that and we will, let's see what else we want to do in here. And let's just move it up. And let's close that. And then what we'll do is we'll go back online. Close that again, whoops. And we should see that we've added that feature there. So just to prove the point that this is an application which runs across platforms and across devices and provides the ability for uh, for users to do offline editing um, on any device and this is an application which this is a code base that we're building up and extending for clients and it's extremely flexible as I mentioned thanks for watching